Hi, my name is Jerry Kluzniak. I've been asked to talk a little bit about some of my adventures over the years. I started out as a child, just like we all did, and probably like most of you here, I started out as a very poor child. We didn't have much growing up, but one thing that I always did have was a bicycle. One of my first memories is riding my bike. It was a little blue bike, you know, it was just a coaster. It had, you know, push backwards on the brakes so that you could stop but you could go really fast on a bike, especially compared to how fast I could run because I was a very, very slow runner. I was small. I was so small and so skinny that my nickname as a kid was Worm. So I was always trying to go out of my way to try to be as athletic as I could. And the only place where I could really do well was on my bicycle. And as I got older, of course, I got better and better bicycles. When I reached high school, I discovered swimming. Well, actually a little bit before high school. When I was in about grade eight, I discovered swimming. And the reason I discovered swimming was because I noticed at the swimming pool, the girls were wearing bathing suits. So of course you wanted to go to the swimming pool so you could see the girls in the bathing suits. But in order not to embarrass yourself, you had to be a pretty good swimmer. So I started taking swimming lessons when I was in grade eight. So I was way behind people when I started out swimming, but I seemed to have a natural talent for it. So I was a very slow runner, I was an okay bike rider, and I became a pretty good swimmer. By the time I got to the end of high school, I was playing on the water polo team, and I was swimming on the swim team, and actually, in grade 12, I was good enough to swim in the city high school championships. And although I didn't win any races, I didn't embarrass myself either. And that was kind of important at the time because there were all the girls in the bathing suits that you wanted to show off for. Once I got out of high school, I started working before I went to university. And when I was working, I fell into some bad habits. I got quite lazy. I didn't exercise like I had through high school and I started putting on weight. But even then, I always fooled myself and said, no, 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 you're in shape, you're okay, you're okay. I was still riding my bikes. I had, I think, two or three bikes by that time. I worked downtown and I lived on the south side. So, of course, I had to ride up the hill to get to work. So that kept me in shape. But riding a bike, you don't really lose weight. So I kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Started university because I decided I didn't really want to work hard. So I started university, and when I got to university, I was able to get back into the swimming as well. So I had my biking, I had my swimming, but I really wasn't running very much because I was a slow runner, and the people that I knew at university that I could run with were fast runners. So I was doing okay, but, but not great. So things were fine. After university, I met my future wife, settled down, we're skipping ahead pretty fast here, settled down, she got pregnant, and in sympathy, I decided I would also put on 60 pounds. So by the time our son was born, I weighed close to 205 pounds, which was a lot for me. But again, I kept fooling myself and saying, you're in shape, you're in shape, you can do fine, you'll be okay. And I continued with that until Evan, my first son, was five years old. I was able, to be his coach for soccer. Soccer was pretty cool. The coach got to go on the field and run around with the team. At the end of the first, or pardon me, the end of the first half of the first game, some of the parents came over. I thought to congratulate me on what a wonderful job I was doing with the coaching. They came over to ask me if I was okay and whether or not they should call an ambulance for me. My face apparently was bright red. I was puffing and panting, and that's when I realized, no, I'm not in shape. So without telling anyone, I decided I was going to get back in shape, and the way I was going to do it was I was going to enter a triathlon. For those of you who don't know, a triathlon is three events, and triathletes are a little on the crazy side. There's, there's a number of different distances. So I thought I would start with the sprint triathlon because a sprint triathlon sounded like it would be pretty short. I did a little research and discovered the sprint takes an hour and a half. 